How's it guys? We had Mondanet Butchery in Pretoria and today on Brightway TV we've got an epic, epic recipe. Well I think so anyway, we'll soon find out if it works or not. It's called a pizza vorse. Pizza in a vorse, it's going to be magnificent. Follow me, let's go make it. So we've got a wider range of ingredients, we're going to make things up as we go along, but the most obvious one is cheese. So let's start with some mozzarella. Let's chop it into blocks. We could grate it, but I think it'll melt away too much. So let's cut some nice little cubes. Okay, so Rian just told me, big blocks like that aren't going to fit through the filler. So problem number one. Let's cut it up smaller than that. So yes, we have to have mozzarella, but let's add some cheddar for the flavor as well. Cheese is done. Let's see what else we've got here. Um, like the idea of some black forest ham. Let's cut that up. I love me some pepper juice, let's get some of that in there. Some olives, that's always good on a pizza. Nothing wrong with a little bit of chorizo, let's get that in there. God's gift to man, bacon, you have to have bacon on a pizza. See we got some onions here, let's get some of that in. Give it a toss, tossing's always good. Mix it up. And let's get it into the filler. And now the fun part. Getting it into the filler, stuffing the sausage, and then we bry it. That does the trick, there we go. See, much better consistency, and it feels good in your hand as well. The moment has arrived. Let's see what these things taste like. I'm really not sure whether we should be in direct heat or indirect heat, so I'm going to do both. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh my f Look at that. Tiny little casualty. We've got one break so far, but that is tasting amazing. Too good to be true. Too good to be true. Mmm. The cheese is melting beautifully, but remember, the rest of the ingredients are already cooked. You can eat them raw as well if you want. So as soon as that cheese is melted, nice brown in the outside, we take it off. Another two more minutes, I think. <laughs> no idea how we're going to eat this horse, but I think a tortilla will work. Let's give it a bash. Guys, you're going to love this. Tastes like pizza in a horse. Amazing. It's your turn to taste. Pedro's eating his fingers already. <laughs> Guys, okay, we've got, two, we've got two of them there. One without the mince, the other one's actually got mince in it. Have a taste and let me know what you think. Brilliant. This is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> best I've ever tasted and I think it will be a very good seller. What does it taste like? Pizza perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's like pizza, man. Okay, if I had to criticize, it's a little bit pop, a little bit hard to eat. I'm still not sure. The tortillas didn't work too well. We'll find something else to wrap them in. I'm thinking maybe a pizza dough itself. But otherwise, it tastes like pizza. It's in a voice. It's epic. Epic. Yay! <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Pizza in a voice. It happened today. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Oh, my God,